what we've been up to this week on Mail Call Mondays. Mail Call Mondays is brought to you by Modular Driven Technologies. If you need a chassis system for your precision rifle, check out mdttac.com. I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and this is Mail Call Mondays, the show that answers your questions about precision rifles, optics, and equipment. Welcome to another Mail Call Mondays, and this is Thursday. And uh, we've had a lot going on this week, and that is why this show hopefully is going up on YouTube Thursday night, because I just rolled in, just got out of the car, walked into the shop, turn the camera on. Uh, I was up in Edinburgh, Indiana at the American Suppressor Association's Media Day shoot. Uh, so we got to go up there and check out a bunch of different suppressors from uh, Gemtech, Dead Air, Silencer Co., um, Daniel Defense, uh, and quite a few others. I uh, just got to go around and shoot some different stuff. Got to shoot the new Daniel Defense Delta V rifle. Uh, of course, it wasn't like it was a accuracy test. It was set up on a tripod, but it was still a good chance to feel how the action cycled and take a look at it outside of an actual showroom. Uh, so we have had a lot of that going on, and as soon as I get everything reset here, I'm going to jump back in the car, and Friday I'm going to head right back to Indy for an Olight event, and we'll leave some details to that down below if you guys want to show up. Uh, that will be Friday evening, or actually Friday late afternoon. And then we'll be up in Indy Saturday and Sunday for the NRA annual meeting. And we'll be wandering around the show talking to uh, some different vendors about some new products that have been released since SHOT Show. And we'll bring you guys the footage for that. Uh, now, I know you guys have been anxiously waiting for the Ultimatum Deadline Part 2 video, and that video is getting ready to drop. It is actually already uploaded to YouTube. I've got to proof it to make sure I didn't do any really screwed up flubs in it. And then we will turn that thing live so hopefully you guys can watch it and comment on it. And that's important because if you notice the rifle sitting in front of me, this is a little bit different. This looks very much like a JP Enterprises MR19 rifle, and it is, but it isn't. Uh, so what we have sitting in front of here is the JP Enterprises APAC chassis for the ultimatum deadline. But this is our ultimatum deadline uh, that is pulled straight out of the MDT ESS chassis that we used in the ultimatum deadline build part one and part two. Uh, so we needed to get that done so we could pull the barreled action out, drop it into this chassis, uh, so we can give this a run and get started on the review for the APAC chassis. And that will be coming pretty soon. I'm not going to drag this one out. We already had our first range day with it. I dropped it right in the chassis, torqued it down, fired a five-shot group that ended up being sub-quarter MOA. Uh, so I was very impressed by that. Followed it up with a couple of uh, half MOA groups and... Uh, Pretty impressed with the chassis overall. There's some things that I like and some things that I dislike about it. Uh, so we will uh, get the review going pretty quickly. I am going to talk to JP Enterprises when I go up to the NRA annual meeting. Uh, so uh, we'll have some comments on the likes and dislikes that I can use in the review, and then we'll get that rolling. So that brings up kind of the main topic uh, that we have for this Mail Call Mondays, and that is the source of the products that we review. Uh, there has been a bit of a dust-up in the social media world right now between a couple of groups and a major YouTuber about uh, paid endorsements and paid reviews. Uh, there are federal rules on how media is supposed to disclose uh, when there is a relationship between an advertiser and the uh, media company, media personality, etc. Now, you guys know that um, I'm an amateur. I'm a knuckle-dragging trigger puller. I am self-taught on this whole uh, media stuff, uh, and I really take great pains to make sure that I'm educated and I'm doing this correctly. Uh, but sometimes we learn things as we go along. We've been doing this for about eight years now. And we look back at the earlier videos and we think, ooh, uh, we weren't doing that exactly the way we should. And one of the things is these disclosures. 
Um, I've tried to be uh, clear in mentioning in videos as we've gone along over the last couple of years uh, when a manufacturer sends something to us to review, but I think in a lot of videos I don't spell it out quite clearly. Uh, in no time do we intend to um, conceal how we receive products. Uh, in fact, I think we've been pretty forthright uh, along the way because when manufacturers send us things to review, it helps us out greatly uh, because it allows us to utilize our operating budget uh, for video equipment, for lighting, for uh, computer equipment to edit, all the other things that we really have to pay for. We don't have anybody that is willing uh, to send things out for us to use in that manner. Uh, so we rely on manufacturers to be able to send us out rather expensive pieces of equipment so we don't have to utilize our budget to purchase those. Now, um, that really does not influence how I view the products or how I use them. Uh, through most of my life, I've been issued the equipment that I utilize without actually having to pay for it. Uh, and I'm still able to look at that equipment critically. Um, whenever the government issued me an M16, I didn't look at it and think, hey, I got this for free. It's the greatest thing in the world. Um, I still looked at it pretty critically. Uh, the same thing with my M40A1 and all the other pieces of military equipment that I've had along the way and pieces of equipment that have been issued to me by my police department. Uh, so just because I don't have to pay for something does not mean I think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, in fact, if you go online and you look at uh, reviews from owners of various different pieces of equipment, you will see a broad spectrum of viewpoints from uh, the guys that purchased an expensive piece of equipment and didn't feel that they got the value that they wanted out of it and review it very critically uh, to the guys that spent a lot of money for a piece of equipment. And because of that, they are blind to its faults because they don't want to admit that they bought a piece of faulty equipment. Uh, so the opinions run the gamut. But the main point here is uh, the source of the equipment doesn't really affect uh, how I evaluate it or how I view it. The point is that you need to know so that you can appropriately evaluate my comments and you can add your own weight to my comments one way or the other. Uh, so things like the APAC chassis here from JP Enterprises. Uh, they sent this chassis to us, but it's here on a TNE period. So I will review it and then we'll probably pack it up and send it back to JP. I will direct your attention to the Night Force Attacker F1 5 to 25 that we have sitting on top here. You guys have seen the scope in quite a few videos. Um, Night Force did send us this scope. Uh, we have not completed the full review on it. Uh, that is just because of me and my horrible schedule. Uh, the Marine Corps has adopted a very, very similar scope to this. It is a 5 to 25 power F1 attacker. Um, we'll talk to them when we get up to the NRA annual meeting to find out the exact differences between the mill version and the version that I have sitting here. Uh, but we will do a review shortly and we will talk about exactly where I got the scope. Now, Night Force sent this out to us. It is here on TNE. It will eventually have to go back to Night Force, but there's not exactly a return date on it. Uh, we get a lot of pieces of equipment in like that. A company will send it to us. It's a loan, but we don't know when it's got to go back. Uh, that, again, doesn't really affect how I view the piece of equipment, because if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And if I find fault with it, I'm going to let you know what the faults I find with it are. Otherwise, for me, it's not a complete review. I don't owe Night Force anything for sending the scope out to us. Night Force is getting free publicity from me uh, for the loan of the scope. It's my responsibility to you to let you know where that's coming from. And I can tell you, I absolutely will never conceal us taking money from a manufacturer to present something to you. You notice before every Mail Call Mondays video, I'm telling you that these videos are sponsored by Modular Driven Technologies. Now, in a video sponsored by Modular Driven Technologies, I'm sitting here with a JP Enterprises chassis in front of you. So that should let you know that we work with manufacturers that give us the freedom to do what we want to do, not that are trying to uh, and twist this into what they want uh, using a paycheck. 
Uh, that's just not how I work. That's not how I ever will work. I would love to be able to say, hey, we don't take any money from any manufacturers. Uh, but the reality is in trying to make this a profitable enterprise, which allows us to expand, it allows us to hopefully at some point hire some staff to uh, help get videos out quicker. Um, that requires me to run this like a business with some common sense. Uh, businesses require income and without charging you guys, which is not something I want to do, uh, then the money has to come from somewhere. Uh, it can't just come out of my pocket. Uh, so that requires us to, you know, take on sponsors, take on advertisers, all that. And I think most of you guys totally understand that. Uh, but the important thing is to disclose to you guys what's going on. And going forward, uh, we're going to do everything in our power to make sure uh, that that disclosure occurs in some way, shape, or form throughout the video, especially review videos, uh, letting you know where it came from, if we purchased it, or if it was supplied to us by a manufacturer, and uh, giving you the information that you need to be able to appropriately weigh my comments and what I'm saying about a piece of equipment. Hopefully you will still have the confidence in me uh, that I am reviewing it um, on an even keel, no matter what the source is. Uh, so that is the main point of this video. Now, i uh, got a couple of other things I want to talk about real quick. Uh, one is, this is excuses time for me to let you know why you're not getting a Mail Call Monday's video on Monday. Uh, we made the decision this week to adopt a brand new German Shepherd puppy. Um, I came across a puppy who had been abused. Uh, it was in a very bad situation that I'm not at liberty to go into right now, uh, but uh, the puppy was seized by our uh, local animal control. Um, she was uh, treated for a broken leg. Uh, she is now healed from that broken leg. She's almost totally healed up from that. Um, we made the decision to adopt her, which of course required uh, me taking my kids down to meet her and make sure that there were no uh, problems, that the, the puppy didn't have any uh, lasting emotional issues or scars there, uh, to take my dogs down to make sure that my dogs would be able to acclimate uh, to the puppy, and uh, generally all that stuff that goes around adopting a new puppy. And she's an absolutely beautiful, about eight-month-old uh, German Shepherd uh, so hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some videos uh, later on. I'm not a big dog trainer. I just know what I need to do to uh, train pets uh, to be good pets. Uh, so she is definitely just going to be a household pet. Uh, there are no other uh, duties that she's going to be required to do. And hopefully we'll be able to provide her a very good life. But that took a lot of time uh, away from me this week that I would normally use to uh, produce videos. And then, of course, uh, we did our range trip uh, with the new JP Enterprises chassis system. Uh, so that is what's been going on this week. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up so we can get it uploaded. And then I can get ready to go back up to Indy for the rest of the NRA annual meeting. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section down below, especially comments on the disclosures. I really want to know how you guys feel about um, disclosing products are purchased, products are supplied, etc. Uh, like I said, we're going to make sure that we do everything we can to comply with the guidelines on that. Uh, but I want to know how you guys feel about it. So, if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to hear answered on future Mail Call Mondays, leave it in the comments section below or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. If you guys are listening to us on your favorite podcast app, please send questions to us at 8541tactical at gmail.com. If you like the video, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and click that little bell icon so you get notified when we release new videos. If you guys want to support the content that you know and love and get us closer to being totally self-sufficient on these videos, Videos, uh, then please check us out over on Patreon, and we'd love to have you there, and uh, thank you very much for supporting our videos. Until next time, get out and shoot!